Hey guys, let's take a look at the Vortag figure from the Mythic Legions range. As you can see, Vortag appears to be a green orc, and I say appears to be because he is. Um, we'll take a close up of the figure first. So, lovely head sculpt, you've got that green shade in the beard, yellow eyes, and those orangey yellow teeth. The armour itself is painted very nicely. Lots of scuffs marks. We have the loincloth, looks very barbaric along with the gauntlets, which is amazing. The boots and the bare feet. Now, what's interesting about this is not only the figure itself, but also all the accessories he comes with. If I can get him to stand up on here. There we go. So, let's work our way through the accessories quick before we do all the articulation and whatnot. So, we have a dual-sided hammer, which looks amazing, which if you really want to, turn to a one-sided. I personally think two side looks much, much better. We have a really well painted shield. Like, look at the shading on that as well. Very, very well done. The design itself looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. We have a pretty standard looking sword. Again, looks very awesome. We have, sorry, I put everything inside a little Keep it nice and safe. Pauldrons. Again, looking very barbaric. Lots of options for these, lots of options. We'll put them on the figure quick. So, they just pop into the back like any Mythic Legion figure. There's two little holes. If I pop this one in, I'll then show you the back so you know what I'm talking about. See, same direct hole as on this side, just pop straight in. So, We'll pop them on so you can get a look at what the figure looks like with that. And look at that. How awesome does that look? Absolutely amazing. Very barbaric. You could use this for so many options. Uh, you get a couple of gripping hands. Which is really, really nice. Really, really nice. As well as the open hands that he's currently got. The bandolier that every figure has. Your wing adapters, and I'm not sure what the other one is. is it a shield adapter? I've never used these in my life, to be honest. Don't think I ever will. Boots. So these actually plug into the bottom. So if you don't like the bare look, for, uh, look as such, I'm trying to figure out which size which. I think it's that one. You can plug metallic boot in, which is the look I'm going to be going with. So. Nope, that's not his foot. There we go. That's his foot. Lovely. Right. You also get okay. another helmeted orc head. So the good thing about this is if you decide you are using the feet, like the actual boot feet for this instead of the green feet, if you can find another figure with no full armour, like a Magnus or something like that, you've actually got hands, spare hands, feet, and a orc head, you can turn into another orc figure. Um, and orc figures, I find, especially in the UK, are very hard to come by, um, which is one of the main reasons I don't collect them. So yeah, you this could theoretically be a legion figure. Legion figure. Legion figure. I can't talk today. A legion builder figure. Um, however, this is a more expensive one. Uh, I had to get this from AliExpress. And it cost me around £60, which is actually okay, but then shipping and whatnot, so I'll let you decide on that one. So, let's look at articulation. I'm going to take the pollens off. We've seen what he looks like with them on. He looks awesome. But let's look at just pure articulation, if I struggle to get out of the back. It's not even that they're stiff. It's the spikes. <laughs> there we go. Right. So, we have... Head goes right to left, and not really up and down because of the uh, beard, but that's fine. We have full swing of the arm. They come up, 90 degrees. Forearm goes up and swivels. We also have the wrist swivel, and there is a bicep swivel. The waist. You can literally go all the way around, as we expected, because it's a mythic legion thing and they come apart. Okay, so legs come out like so, up and down. They are restricted, obviously, by the massive loincloth, and 
oh, I can't remember what they're called. I cannot remember, but I'm restricted because of that. We have single jointed knees. And we do have some wrist, so some uh, foot swivel, which is always nice. Now, one thing I did forget to mention, because I can't find it, <laughs> because I'm an amazing action figure collector, is that he does come with an actual fuzzy, furry uh, loincloth piece. So, let's look at scale. That is him next to the McFarlane Toys Nightwing figure. And as always, the McFarlane Toys Witcher. We have the WWE Becky Lynch figure from Mattel. So that is Vortag, um, an amazing figure. My very first Orc figure, actually. I haven't owned one since or before. Um, great purchase. This comes with so many accessories, which makes it already worth the money. Like I said, if you have a spare body lying around, you've got hands, feet and legs to make another figure with, which is always nice, especially if you are an Orc collector and you're an army builder for Orcs. This figure could be right up your alley. So if you enjoyed this review, please review a like, guys. It helps amazingly. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Uh, go and find my uh, gaming channel, New Dings Gaming. Go and like and subscribe to that. That'd be amazing as well. And hopefully, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.